Time now to look back at the Liberty Flames football season and specifically on the defensive side as we visit now with Flames defensive coordinator Robert Wimberly and a busy time for you right now, Coach. It's uh, holiday season, first of all. I know you're trying to probably get ready for your things with your family and all that, but uh, you're on the road recruiting as well. Uh, give us an idea of what the last few weeks have been like for you. Uh, well, you know, last two weeks we've been out on the road uh, trying to find some future Flames, uh, young men that want to be a part of our family. And thus far it's going very well. Got a big weekend uh, today, and so we're really excited. Uh, really been hitting the southeast very hard. Before we talk about the defense, just kind of talk a little bit about the recruiting aspect as much as you can. I know Coach Gill said the class probably be in the 15 to 17 range. Uh, what are some of the specific needs you guys are addressing? Well, we're trying to address our defensive line. Uh, we're going to be uh, looking to sign uh, two to three young men there. At linebacker, we're looking to sign two. And then in secondary, it's kind of uh, it can go either way as far as corner or safety, looking to sign anywhere from two to three. Uh, so we feel like we're very excited about the young men that have shown interest in us. And like I said, the next weekend today and the uh, next weekends in January are going to be very big for us. You look at your unit from this year, one of the biggest improvements has to be in the turnover margin. You guys were able to take the football away pretty much at will this year. Uh, was that the biggest uh, – area of improvement you saw and how where do you want to see this unit get better next year well yes definitely you know that was a challenge that we made the year before we only had 14 and uh, so that was a challenge going in from winter workouts to spring even in the summer our first summer we had the opportunity to be with them for two hours a week and it going into camp that's what we kept uh, preaching and communicating to our young men. I think they took hold of that and uh, did it with great pride. Uh, we, we always knew if we had opportunity to get the ball away, that gave our offense another opportunity to score. So, you know, I think our young men from the first game to the last really tried to make sure that we did that because we knew that can change the game for our betterment. You told me earlier this year that you and Marshall Roberts spent a lot of extra time with them in the summer. Is that something you plan to do again this year? Oh, yes. I mean, now that we are able to, because of the NCAA rules, that's something we're definitely going to make the most of, and we saw the benefits. So I think our young men are excited about it because they saw uh, how it really helped them get better. And so you know, we're really excited about to continue to keep that going, being known as a defense that creates turnovers. Aside from one or two games, you guys were really good in the red zone this year as well. Uh, top 10 red zone uh, defense. Uh, what led to that? Well, you know, just football IQ. Uh, as I stated all year, we can sense from spring going into the summer, our young men were becoming more intelligent of where they were at on the field. So you, you, you start to teach them what to expect, and but sometimes some young men don't carry that over. But this year we saw that. We saw them communicating, uh, looking for the wide nod play or what we call all the uh, Indy Y corner, uh, just different routes, and even in the run game, what to anticipate. And I think that allowed them to play with confidence and not panic when we were in those situations. Pass defense seemed to improve this year as well. The run defense, six times this year, the opposition had over 200 yards rushing. Is that the biggest area of improvement that needs to be addressed? Yeah, we definitely, we, we've already talked about that. I've actually been already watching film. Uh, that's something we know we must improve because you have to stop the run uh, to really be a true dominant defense. And uh, I feel very good about what we got coming back next year and to know that that's going to be addressed. And, and, and you add that with us continuing to get better in our pass defense. Uh, I really believe we can continue to strive to be a very dominant defense. It's a word I heard a lot, a couple words I heard a lot this year were gap integrity and, and, and you know, doing assignments as, as far as that goes. But uh, is that uh, w one of the biggest areas that you think uh, kind of led to that? Well, you know, it, multiple reasons. Uh, you know, you just can't pinpoint – uh, one game, it could have been the perimeter, the way we fitted the perimeter. One game, it could have been, you know, um, just gap integrity. And, and, and quite a few games, especially early in the season, we had a lot of missed tackles. Uh, we were right there, but we didn't fit and or we didn't tackle properly. And so, you know, those things, we're, we're excited to get corrected. Just like last year, we couldn't get the turnovers. We, we, we stressed it. We talked about it. Uh, we got m more mature young men. Uh, we returned quite a few young men. So I'm definitely excited to get back with them uh, when we're able to in the offseason and uh, teach, talk, uh, and watch them develop because I, I know our young men are going to take that challenge to be able to stop the run. When you look at some of the personnel that you do have coming back uh, next year, the defensive line looks very deep. I mean, Irwin DeSources is pretty much the only, you know, one of the only seniors you're losing up there. You got Jawan Wells, Tolan Avery, Devontae Brown, all those guys are going to be upperclassmen. How excited are you for that unit? Well, I'm definitely excited because uh, you know that those young men were very disappointed in. Um, 
the run game. And I think they're definitely working hard in the weight room already, just in my communication with them, um, even during the last two and a half weeks. You, you know they have a little grudge. They, they want to prove that, you know, we do stop the run. And then you throw in uh, Greg Story. You throw in uh, DeCarlo Hamilton, Will Brown. Uh, you know, you're talking about young men that you know that they're excited to showcase what we are able to do defensively. Will Brown, a guy that was uh, fighting a lot of injuries this year as well. Hopefully he can be right for next season. Uh, the linebacker spot, one of concern. Obviously Nick Newman, Dexter Robbins, two very high-impact players that are gone. Uh, I know that you work to try to get Lucas Irons and Jalen McKinney some more playing time this year. How confident are you in those two going into next year? Well, I'm real excited about them. They, you know, especially Lucas, he's been with us for three years. You know, he got redshirted. And then you look at Jalen McKinney, he's been, a, been with us for two years. So, yeah, they may not have, have had a lot of snaps at linebacker, but they've been very productive for us in special teams. And so, you know, now is the classic time when you lose great players like Nick Newman and Dexter Robbins. What you're hoping for is because they had game experience and they've been in the room with Coach Bookbinder and myself when we had unit meetings, you're counting on them. It's just they got to make sure that they do what they've been taught to do. Uh, so we're really excited. I'm really excited to see uh, how they step into this new role. And then in the secondary, uh, a lot of experience at corner with Tyron Holloway, a senior. Chris Turner will be a junior. Those two guys, uh, a lot's going to be asked yes. of them next year, I would imagine. Yes, you know, definitely. I think at the latter half of the season, you know, we, we did some more man-to-man, -man, follow this guy, follow that guy, uh, based on personnel. And I thought that both of those uh, two young men did a phenomenal job. Uh, you know, with Coach uh, Roberts guiding them. Uh, and so we're real excited. You know, uh, now, as I've always stated, you want corners that you know that can be aggressive, uh, that, you know, you may, you know, maybe a 50-50 ball that you may get, you may not get, but majority you're going to get them. I think our corners showed and proved to us that, Coach, you put us in these situations on this island. Uh, you can feel confident that for the most part, we're going to find a way uh, to make sure that a play is not made against us. And so I'm real excited. You know, you're throwing Jeremy Peters. You're throwing Malik Matthews, Jimmy Fox, a true freshman. You're talking about five young men um, that are only going to get better. And then the safety position, how do you feel about what you've got coming back there with uh, Solomon and then Brandon Tillman as well? Oh, real excited. You know, Brandon Tillman, as I've always stated, has exceeded my expectations, and I think the sky's the limit for him. Uh, you look at Solomon, you know, he he has come in and did exactly what we needed him to do as far as bring energy, uh, you know, be that role model for a lot of our young men. He did that at a great level. Uh, and then you look at Corbin Jackson coming back. He's going to only be a junior. And then Ryan Davis, uh, if you watched that last game against Coastal, he had 13 what we call production plays where he, he was in on a play and he only had like 30-something snaps. And, you know, he was a redshirt freshman last year. And his, his role is going to get bigger. So definitely excited about the young men and, and how they're attacking this offseason already. And, uh, you know, we know we got some things we got to improve on, but I really felt that we made some good strides this season. We just got to address uh, a couple of issues, and, and we will do that at a high level. And with all the talent that we got coming back, uh, I'm excited for 2017. Coach, we appreciate the time. Wish you the best of luck, and also a Merry Christmas to you and your family. Merry Christmas to you. All right, that's Robert Wimberley, Flames defensive coordinator with us, and my name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.